everybody. I'm going to be showing you the Facewear facial motion capture system and XN's full body motion capture system live streaming into Motion Builder's pipeline. Uh, so before you start this tutorial, I would hope you have a basic knowledge of calibrating a body and the basic face wear calibration and retargeter setup. Just keep that in mind before you continue watching. So I have a setup of two computers. One computer is running Faceware, the other is going to run XN's MVN Studio and the Motion Builder 3D character. So first things first, let's go into NVN Studio. I've already calibrated myself. Hey, how's it going? If I come up to Options, Preferences, I then want to set my streaming so it will go into Motion Builder. That's easy. All I do is check this box that says Euler. I'm going to stream at its full update rate. So set the down sampling skip factor to zero. I'm streaming locally onto this computer. You could stream over to a different computer as long as you're sharing a network by entering that host computer's IP address right here. So I'm good to go. I press close. I'm already running inside of NVN Studio. Now if I open up Motion Builder, I'm going to import a character that I've already created. This character is characterized with a human IK skeleton. I'll show you. So you can see this character has a skeleton built into it. Um, it's already been characterized. So definition, yeah, you can see it's been characterized. I named it Victor fa underscore facewear. Um, as far as NVN Studio goes, it's as easy as clicking NVN link, assuming you've downloaded the link from the website. So click, left click, drag into the viewport. If I scroll over FBX merge, I can say no animation. What this is going to do is bring in four human arcade skeletons. Uh, NVN software can have up to four characters. So if you had four running at a time, you can do that. Uh, I'm only running by myself, so I'm going to automatically be C1 NVN character. So in the character controls, I want my source to be me, the C1 MVN character, driving Victor face, facewear. Now if I come down into the devices, the MVN Live plugin, all I have to do is press online, and you can see, now I'm streaming. So there we have it. Hey. hey, everybody. So streaming with the body. That's great. Now let's get the face going. So I'm going to jump over to the other computer. I have the Facewear Live server open, live server. You can see right here. Um, if I come into the preference window, I'm streaming with their head cam set up through the Black Magic. Uh, converter. You can see that my image doesn't have any tracking the tracker data on it. So what I have to do is actually flip it so it's in the horizontal axis. Now you can see the tracking. As far as calibration goes inside of Faceware, it's very simple. You can either click these little bars that say calibration right here or you can open up the calibration tab in the face for setup window. So to calibrate, I just make a neutral face straight ahead, and then it calibrates. So you can see I'm calibrated. Each one of these dots, uh, you want to have a contrasting eyebrow or anything like that, so don't feel shy in putting on mascara or any sort of makeup to make sure your eyebrows are defined or your lips are defined because your lip color could be the same color as your skin color. 
So I'm good to go to start streaming. What I have to do is I look down here at the bottom of the window from Faceware and I see this IP address. So 169.254.45.43. I note this IP address down. This is what it's streaming over. And then I also want to set a port number. So 801. Then if I press start streaming, it's going to start streaming from my Faceware computer over the Ethernet cable I have connecting both my computers straight to my Motion Builder NVN Studio computer. So now coming back into Motion Builder, if I come into Devices, I've already loaded the Faceware Live plugin. I click and drag the same way I did with the NVN Studio plugin. I first set the server address. So I've already set it, 169.254.45.43. And then I make sure the port is the same as the Faceware's port. I have to load the expression set from Faceware on the character I'm using. So if I press open, it will load onto this guy's face right here. If I press online and live, now you can see I'm talking. Victor's talking, and we're all doing a lot of motion capture. Hey, everybody. Woo. And that's how you stream from, <laughs> and that's how you stream from MVN Studio, Faceware, live into Motion Builder.